Hey everybody, this is Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Ink and I'm hosting this week's Make It Monday Challenge. This week I'm going to show you how to combine two different techniques for a unique one layer card effect. We're going to be combining stenciling and masking. Alright, so for today's project I'm going to be using the stencil from the Herb Garden Kit. This is kind of the brush stroke rectangular stencil. If you don't have something similar, you can actually just make your own out of just any kind of open, um, larger open die along with um, either a scrap of cardstock or acetate. Anything that you can cut to make your own temporary stencil if you don't have um, a stencil that'll work for this technique. But this one's from the Herb Garden Kit. I have a panel of white cardstock, just plain white cardstock, and I'm going to be layering my stencil over top of that. I will note too here, I have my cardstock um, stuck onto a um, Cricut cutting mat. It's just an adhesive mat, holds everything in place. I like to use those when I stenciling. So that's what I have there. And then I also have two branches. I'm going to be using the beautiful berries uh, spring stamp set for this technique today. And so I have a couple of the large branches from that set die cut out of just lightweight copy paper. So I'm going to take some removable adhesive and apply that to the back side of those die cuts. Kind of want to make sure that you get you know, a bit of adhesive on all the little bits and um, pieces around the edges, especially. Okay, and then I'm going to just lay those underneath my stencil. I'm going to kind of position my stencil here just to get an idea of where it's at. And then I can go ahead and put those branches right underneath. Position them wherever you want them to be. I'm going to kind of put uh, so that you can see a good portion of the one on the top. And then this bottom one, I don't want to see as much of that one. We're just going to kind of peek that out from the bottom corner like that. And just press them down lightly, kind of try to catch those little edges. I'm going to position my stencil over the top and I have a little bit of tape on the corners to help hold that all in place. So then I'm going to take uh, an ink blending sponge, just a handle, and I'm going to stencil over top of the stencil and those die cuts. And I'm using Aqua Mist ink right now. And I'm going to get just kind of a little bit of color laid down. So I'm going to switch to a darker color now. I have Tropical Teal. And I'm just going to get a little more color built up here. Okay, so I'm happy with my stenciling and the depth of color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just lift the stencil up. And I'm going to pull away these die cuts. Like I said, put some temporary adhesive on those so they're not ripping your cardstock when you pull those away. There might be a little adhesive kind of left on there. Just rub that off. Get rid of that from your stock. And we're going to position that stencil right back down. So then we're going to also use the stencil as a mask as we're stamping those branches. All right, so here I'm going to pull out my beautiful berry spring set and I'm going to start doing the stamping. There's a few different steps to building these branches. I'm going to start with the solid leaves and I have green parakeet ink and you just make sure you get that all lined up. Your die cut will provide the outline so you can position that. Do the same thing down here in the corner. And we'll move on 
on to the next step. Next step I have the branch and the, the veins for the leaves and I'm going to be using New Leaf ink for that, just a darker shade of green. one down here. Okay, then we can move on to do the berries, the solid portion of the berries. I'm gonna start out with some raspberry fizz for the top. Bottom, we're going to do shades of orange. So I'm going to start off with orange zest. This bottom bunch here. Make sure everything's lined up. You can use your, if you have a misty stamping tool, you can use that for this technique too. That helps a little bit. Then we're going to move on to the berry detail. And I'm going to be stamping that with Scarlet Jewel for the pink berries. And for the bottom berries, Going to use some uh, terracotta tile. Okay, now's the fun part. We get to pull away the stencil. We get to see our pretty design. Okay, it's just kind of a neat one layer. Uh, one layer technique. Great for cards that you need to drop in the mail. I'm going to stamp a sentiment across the front. This is also from Beautiful Berry Spring and I'm just using some True Black ink. Okay, so that is all there is to this technique. Now we have a finished panel which I can just go ahead and add to a card base. Single layer, really fun, pretty technique. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Ink, and I hope you get a, a chance to play along with this week's masking and stenciling technique. 